Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to the Miranda Zone. It's your girl Miranda. So today's Halloween makeup tutorial. I have been requested to do a gothic vampire. Well, I'm going to switch it up for you all. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to leave it too gothic. I'm going to leave it somewhat gothic because vampires are nothing but black. They don't wear white, browns. They they only wear freaking black. So I'm going to try to make this as black as I can get it. <laughs> so let's get started on that. And you will be hearing my phone whistle a lot. I am texting my aunt. We are texting each other back and forth. So, today is my aunt's birthday, so I went out to dinner with her and with my uncle and my mom. We all took her out to dinner tonight to celebrate her birthday. So, let's get started on this makeup tutorial. Shall we? The first thing I'm going to do is my eyes. I know I always say I'm going to start on my lips, but I think I'm getting better at working in my eyes pretty fast. Now other people might have something to say about that, but that's okay. <laughs> so I have my Ulta kit or my Urban Decay kit right beside me on my right side. So I'm going to use a really black eyeshadow. And just really rub it in the eyeshadow. and grab my mirror mm -hmm. that way I can see what I'm doing And I'm going to wipe off the excess that's around my eye. Because I look tore up right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, I look like freaking, I don't know what, I just look scary right now. So let me take care of this really quick. This takes 
a couple of seconds to clean up just because the black eyeshadow is so messy which I don't understand it is just really really messy Apparently, I got it all over my face. And apparently, this eyeshadow does not want to cooperate. It's being a pickle right now. But that's okay. I can work with it still. Because I don't think that looks bad. I didn't know I was going to look like Francesca Bozo. <laughs> I'm joking. Totally joking. Okay, so that uh, is done for the black area. I'm going to take my brush, wipe off the excess. Always be sure that your brushes are very clean because you don't want to mix your colors up. You want to mix them up on your eyes if that's what you're going for. But you don't want to mix your colors together on your eyeshadow or lipstick. Palettes, that's just not a good thing. Because then you can't reuse them. Well, you could reuse them. They'll just look crappy. I haven't used this on my face that much. And it already looks crappy. a feeling that I am going to be using a lot 
of makeup remover in this tutorial. And I apologize for that. You know, maybe I need a smaller brush. Maybe. I meant for it to say I hate my phone because it don't say what I wanted to say. I can speak my text messages and it never says what I wanted to say. I meant to say XO XO XO. <laughs> I said XO, right? Like I said, you can speak your text messages. And it said XO. Yeah, it said XO. XO, yeah. I meant for it to say XO, like hugs and kisses. Like I said, I'm running my aunt while I'm making a video for you guys. <laughs> And dropping stuff. <sighs> Sorry. I'm having one of those nights where I just drop stuff. Kid, okay, no. That was my mirror that I needed. <laughs> hmm. I'm very unprofessional today. I dropped my mirror, would you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Would you get it? Please? Look at my lovely phone, y'all. Isn't this a beautiful close-up? Where is it? It's over here. My mom don't want to be in the videos. Sorry about that, y'all. She loves y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to 
me. Sorry about that. Like I said, she don't want to be in the videos. That's okay, though. <laughs> okay, I'm together now. Sorry, I'm so scatterbrained. <sighs> Maybe if I blew it off. I'm going to give you like a smoky eye look. Okay. I'm getting the feeling that I shouldn't have done this tutorial tonight because I'm so freaking tired. But I love you all. And I'm going to do this tutorial anyway. Ha ha. Oh my gosh. Guys, I had the worst headache today. It's not really a headache, really. Because it's not a constant Headache, if that makes any sense. Because you know how headaches are. They're, they're constant, non-stop. They never go away. Well, they do when you take medicine for them or when you eat something. Because sometimes you get a headache because you're hungry or whatever. Or you can just get a regular headache just because you get a headache. Or you can get... A headache from sinus pressure in your head or and and in your nose and sinuses and whatever. Anyway, I think today I've had like a sinus headache or something. Like I said, it wasn't a constant headache, really. It was just one of those. If I coughed, it pounded. <laughs> If I moved a certain way, it pounded. Either way, no matter what I did, it pounded like BAM! And so I was like... One of those times where you just want to slam your head against the wall. <laughs> Speaking of that, I got a funny story for y'all. I'm, uh, I'm always having a crazy story for y'all. I had like a boyfriend when I was in elementary school. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've had like a lot of boyfriends when I was in school. But one boyfriend when I that I had when I was in elementary school, I was like in sixth grade in elementary school. And I had a boyfriend, right? And he was him and my class were actually I think we were in the same class. Yeah, we were in the same class and so we had to go to the library for something in our in our librarian taught us what she whatever it was that she taught us and then she told us to go find a book that we like and read it you know until it was time to go to the next class now that was optional we didn't have to do that really if we didn't want to 
but we could if we wanted to. So, I guess this dude and I really didn't want to. We didn't want to. So, we sat at our tables, right? <laughs> and this was extremely, like, so freaking funny. Hold on. Because I'm sitting at my table and then all of a sudden I hear this really big thump, thump, thumping sound. I mean, it was like a, it wasn't like a big boom or whatever. It was just like a thump, thump. Thump, and that's what it kept doing. Just thump, thump, thump. And so I'm looking around, trying to figure out what that noise is. And it's him banging his head on the table. And I asked him, I said, well, first, <laughs> I said, come here. So he came to me. He walked up to me. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm banging my head on the table. Duh! <laughs> I was like, why are you banging your head on the table? He said, I don't know. So, <laughs> I was cracking up. I mean, I laughed so hard. It was crazy. So, I'm cracking up. I'm sitting there laughing my head off. Because I thought it was pretty stinking funny. I said, why are you doing that? He's like, I don't know, because it feels good. I said, you're going to give yourself a headache. And I, I was just dying laughing. He said, I don't care if I give myself a headache. Now, these were his, his words. He said, I don't care if I give myself a headache. And if I do, I'll throw myself in the river. That's what he said. And then I busted out laughing. I have never cracked up so bad in my life. Actually, yes, I have. I take that back. I have laughed so hard in my lifetime. Like you wouldn't believe. Because some things I find extremely funny. <laughs> I find the stupidest things funny. And I don't understand why. Like, some somebody could tell me a funny story. They could laugh, and it would be done. They would stop laughing. Me, I would take that funny story to, like, 16 million funny levels and just roll. <laughs> just bust out a freaking gut. That's how bad I would laugh. I've had people like, I'd be laughing like somebody, one of my friends would be telling me something funny and I'd bust that laughing. I would think it was funnier than everybody else would. And people would just look at me real stupid. <laughs> like, has she lost her mind? Okay, so now, back to the tutorial. We are going to add gray at the very top of the black. Like I said, this is going to be a smoky eye look. And I'm just working it all the way up to the brow, the eyebrow. Not on the eyebrow, just like pretty close to it. I'm making sure that I get a lot of gray on my brush. Because you want the gray to show up.
And if it doesn't show up, just... Put loads of gray until it shows up. Which I have to do a lot. I have to use loads of gray for it to show up. I was watching Harry Potter earlier in the Half-Blood Prince. Oh my gosh, y'all. They freaking killed Dumbledore. And of course they killed Voldemort. But to me, okay, tell me how you all feel about the Harry Potter movies. Now, if you don't like the Harry Potter movies, that's okay. You're not going to offend me. I mean, I don't care if you like it or not, but I love the Harry Potter movies. Some people think that it's devilish, but it's not, because it's fiction. Fiction is not devilish. It's just fun crap. But yes, they killed off Dumbledore. And I got so mad. But they killed off, like, here's my favorite Harry Potter movie. It's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. They, oh, they made me mad in that one. Because they killed Cedric. Cedric Diggory, the, the dude that played Cedric. Oh, my gosh. That dude is a major freaking babe. I love that dude. I mean, I don't just like that dude. I mean, that dude is so freaking hot. <laughs> that dude got it going on. And the director, I'm sorry to say, got the nerve to kill him off. That ain't right. <laughs> but they killed him off. And then... They killed Dumbledore. They, do y'all know? At the very last Harry Potter, they didn't kill Malfoys. They didn't kill the Malfoys. They killed Voldemort. They tried to kill Harry. Harry tricked them into thinking that they killed him, but they didn't. Harry ended up killing Voldemort, which was a plus. Because he needed to be gone. <clears throat> but yeah. I like to watch movies. That movie, though, oh, actually, the Harry Potters, I love them and I can get into them. But they don't get me on the edge of my seat. <gasps> Let me tell you all what gets me on the edge of my seat. I watched this movie called Volcano one day, and I had never seen it before. And it was just on my TV one day. Because, I'm, you know, every day when I'm on the computer, I like to listen to my TV while I'm on the computer doing stuff. Whether I'm doing work, which is my YouTube, I consider my YouTube a job. Because I love it. I think everybody should have a career that they love. Now, even though I don't get paid yet for doing YouTube, I still consider it, you know, a job, so I love it. But, yeah, I'm just sitting here, you know, listening to Volcano, right? And then all of a sudden, I just got into it, and I'm sitting here watching, like, glued to the TV. Actually, I was in my living room watching it. But, yeah, I was just watching, sitting there watching it, and just glued to the freaking TV, like... It had me wondering who was going to live, and who was going to die, and if that lava, if if they were ever going to freeze that lava, or whatever. <laughs> See, I like those kinds of movies that just have you on the edge of your freaking seat. Except The Exorcist. 
I saw the exorcist one time by accident. My stupid choir teacher, <laughs> he put it in. He had the movie. He owned the movie. So he put it in, right? And so I had never seen it before, so I didn't even know what it was about. So my choir teacher told me that I could go to the library if I didn't want to watch it. But I didn't want to be, you know, I didn't want to feel stupid. And I didn't want the whole, you know, I think I was a senior then. I might have been a, no, I was a senior then, yeah. I didn't want the whole senior class making fun of me. I mean, I know that was my last year of school. But still, you got a reputation, a reputation. And I didn't want people making fun of me, you know, because I didn't watch the movie and all that stuff. But I just don't do good with scary movies. I hate scary movies. I will not watch any scary movie. Unless it's a comedy scary movie. If it's a comedy scary movie, I don't mind watching it. But if it's a really, really scary movie, like a really, really bad scary movie, I will not watch it. <laughs> you cannot make me watch it. <laughs> That's just something that I will not do. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you what. When I saw The Exorcist, that one day, it scared the crap out of me. I mean, I know it wasn't real. And I knew then, when I seen it, that it, it wasn't real. But I'm telling y'all, it scared the living freaking crap out of me. I had nightmares for a freaking week. I thought something was gonna jump out from under my bed and grab me. I, oh my gosh, I got freaked out. <laughs> so, if you're kind of squeamish about scary movies, don't see that. Please don't see that. Because it will scare you. <laughs> okay, now we're done with our eyes. I put gray in my eyes at the very top of my lids above the black eyeshadow. Just to give it a smoky look. And I just bent my finger now. <laughs> hmm, now for the lips. Last but not least. The lips. This is an Ulta lipstick. Yeah. See right here. It says Ulta. And, hmm, it's raisin colored, uh, hold on, see here it says raisin, yeah, I don't know if you all can see that, but yeah, it says raisin. So I'm going to put this lipstick on, right? But I'm going to use two different lipsticks. I'm going to use this raisin lipstick. Right. So I'm going to give it, I must put the top on backwards, I would have smushed my lipstick. How bad would that have been? So I'm going to put another type of lipstick on here, and this is what I'm going to use, if I can get it 
out of my bag over here. Well, out of my kit, my Ulta kit. I got it. Okay, I'm going to use this super shiny lip gloss. And I think it is a deep red lip gloss. See, it says super shiny. So, we are going to give this a deep red look with your lips. Because I believe this lipstick looks a little bit brown. So, I want to add a little dark red to it. I'm going to add a little bit more, just to give it more color. Oh yeah, I said this was a vampire makeup tutorial, didn't I? Okay, so that's not the last thing I'm going to do. I know why I said last but not least, but that's not the last thing. But the lipsticks are the last thing I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is take... If I don't break it, a eyeliner. Yep. And Just do this. Find a white jumbo stick. It's not in here. So, it's in here. Okay. Okay. 
Sorry for my dog barking. She barks a lot. So I'm going to take a white jumbo stick and just fill in And then there is your fangs. Now that was last, but not least, <laughs> the fangs. So there is your vampire makeup tutorial. Your gothic vampire makeup tutorial. I hope you all like it. Please feel free to like comment share this video with your friends if you're not a subscriber and you happen to see this video you know see you know subscribe more subscribers more the merrier peace and god bless